All right, I just got access to the new Duolingo music course, and I thought I'd uh, test it out and give my first thoughts on it. I'm already a musician, but I've been traveling for like the last year without a full keyboard, and uh, I do have this thing that I travel with, which I love. It's a little, uh, what is it, Novation Launch Key Mini, very lightweight and good kind of an instrument to play on and compose with and so on. But I was kind of curious about this course to see if it would offer anything that it, I might, you know, not know or I didn't think it would, but, you know, I still wanted to try it and see if I can recommend it to other people that are trying to learn music. So I gave it a go and uh, here's my first thoughts. Overall, I would say that it's very impressive because um, the, it has the same kind of method as their language courses, which is rather than try to explain things, like with, with language, they don't try and expl explain the grammar. They just actually give you the, the basic ideas and then they say use it. And they do the same thing with this piano course. So basically, like right away, you're, you're playing on this little mini um, keyboard. On I'm, I'm using the phone version. And I think there is a... Um, Right now, just iOS and Android versions. There's no desktop version, but it's um, it was more functional than I expected. Right now, I've only gotten to the point where it teaches like four notes or something. And uh, yeah, but it uses songs that you probably know, like Swan Lake and uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, things like that. And um, I looked over the course to see like what it would be covering because right now it has like about 69 units and from what I can tell it basically it's going to teach you the notes in an octave so that you can identify any note on the keyboard. It's going to teach you basically kind of basic rhythms and tempos, uh, time signatures and you know rests and quarter rests, eighth notes and so on and uh, basically just the basics of of you know, piano, like maybe like a music fundamentals course, the first half of a semester or something. It's not going to be super in-depth, but it's going to be enough to get you started. It seems nice overall what they're teaching. I would say the only thing that, um, oh, it also seems to offer some ear training, which I think that's the thing that I, that I feel like I need more of is ear training. And I'm glad they incorporate that in the course. And uh, yeah, overall it seems nice. I, my experience though with teaching piano or teaching music is that I always feel they should teach chords sooner than they do. And from looking over the, the kind of outline of what this course is, I don't see any chords introduced, which is I think unfortunate. I think they should do it sooner. But again, that's just my opinion. I'm sure that at some point they'll expand the course and start offering that. But it's just, I think, you know, it's fine to be playing by note, but I think you should kind of start being able to see music as, in terms of these these things that are like words, which is what chords are, and uh, at least start introducing basic major chords, like, you know, basic C major triad, for example, as soon as they, they introduce those chords, I mean, those notes. Uh, but yeah, but overall, it's fun. It's very addictive. I think a four-year-old could do this as long as they could understand the language. And there's not a lot of language. It's basically just very simple instructions, like play along with this, press E when to get started, and things like that. Um, so yeah, I can recommend it. I think, I'm curious for people that are totally new to music, what do you think of this course? Because I'm, I'm seeing it as somebody that already knows most of this stuff, and I think... I'm, I'm just seeing it as a teacher, somebody that can recommend it to other students, but I'm curious what actual students think of it. Uh, but my impression is that it is very fun. I found it more enjoyable than the language courses even. They also offer this math course now, which I didn't find that as nearly as fun. I tried the math course when it was a separate app, and I kind of gave up on it because that the material just seems too basic. And this seems basic to me as well, but I like it for some reason because it's actually doing maybe if I had a keyboard it wouldn't be as fun but because I only have this thing and I don't have access to a full piano keyboard maybe that's why but who knows 
But I think it's uh, a good start, and I'm curious to see this that their Duolingo method, which is kind of focusing on doing stuff rather than just having you be passive. They want you to get active right away and start using what you've learned. And I think that is exciting and keeps it enjoyable. They gamify it. And I'd like to see this with other topics like chemistry and so on. So, uh, yeah, I can highly, well, I can't highly recommend it because I just started using it. But at this point, I can recommend it. Maybe at some point, if I finish it, I'll, I'll give a deeper review. But at this point, I'm impressed. I don't know if I'll keep using it because, like I said, most of the material is familiar to me. But it still is very fun. And, uh, yeah, I think it will get you at least, I think like the language courses, it's not meant to be a complete vision of, any subject. It's meant to be something that provides a very basic foundation and allows you to really explore in whatever whatever direction you want to go with it and um, really kind of build from it. It's not, I think like with the language courses, if you just rely on it to learn a language, you're going to be disappointed. And it's really about moving beyond the course at some point. And I think uh, it's a good start though. It's, it's fun. And that's, I think that's the key idea with any any subject is to make it seem fun, not tedious. And I think they have accomplished that. So I look forward to see where they go with it.